Hey man, it's been a very interesting week in Hollywood, especially when it comes to relationships, when it comes to boundaries, when it comes to what's okay and what's not to do in a relationship, what's considered respect and disrespect. Now, of course, everybody's talked about the whole Kiki Palmer and her guy Darius. We don't know if they're still together. I just put a video up the other day saying, did she leave him? Because, you know, she's been out here kind of flaunting and dancing in his face ever since their issue took place. But now we have Miss Sarah Brady who's coming to the front and she's calling out Jonah Hill about what happened during their relationship. And she feels like she was being gaslit. She feels like he was being controlling and manipulating and trying to restrict her in so many other ways. So I guess she related to what Kiki Palmer was going through and decided to unload the chopper on his ass. So Miss Sarah took to Instagram and she put up these screenshots. She says, this is a warning to all girls. If your partner is talking to you like this, make an exit plan. Love y'all, call me if you need an ear. So in this screenshot, you can see these different photos of her surfing, right? She's a surfer, she's a surfing coach. As we all know, surf culture is kind of like bro culture. There's not a ton of women that actively engage in this community, but it is something that she's good at, something that she's engaged in, something that she's been interested in for a long time. That's how she makes her money. So he had these photos of her surfing and he basically put pressure on her to take them off of Instagram. He says, respect however you wanna live your life, you only get one. Sort of done explaining myself. So basically, He's showing her the grievances that he has with these photos because she's either in a bikini or in a body swimsuit. She says, three removed, not the video yet. It is my best surfing video. Would you feel better if the cover frame was different? Any more specific ones that bother you? He says, yes, one that isn't of your ass and a thong. She says, not a thong, but K. Okay. So as you can already tell, anytime she posts any type of material of her surfing, actually marketing or trying to promote her actual skill, I don't know what he expects. Anything that she fucking wears in that water is gonna become skin tight and reveal her body. So basically you want her to retire from surfing. That's what you really want, but you're not gonna say that. So now you're gonna put pressure on her anytime she reveals anything of herself out there. She then followed up and said, yep, kind of unbelievable that a man who sent me shit like this would then be upset I didn't read his mind and take down pics of that once I was in a relationship with him. So she shows some of the initial contact that Jonah and her had, which was of her in the same type of bikini, surfing in the motherfucking ocean, and he sends her heart eye emojis, basically saying, I'm all for this, I'm loving it. But now that you got her, you want her to stop being the person that she was prior to meeting you. This is where a lot of y'all motherfuckers be messing up, and I'm not gonna make this gender specific, I'm just gonna say a lot of people in general seemed to have the game all fucked up. The same light that that person was living in that attracted you to them, why would you want them to dim that light just so you could stand next to them? Make it make sense. If you didn't wanna be with a surfer who happened to wear a bikini at times, you could have chosen someone else. You are Jonah Hill, by the way. There's a lot of people out there that'll date you for your money, for your resources, for your access. I ain't saying you got unlimited options, but I'm sure you've got quite a few. She posts another screenshot of another text conversation that they're having about the same exact issue. So apparently this is an ongoing problem that he had throughout the duration of their relationship. Nothing she did was right. Nothing she did in relation to surfing or being at the beach or, you know, actually forming relationships with the people that she's working with out at the beach. This was all an ongoing problem and he kept trying to box her into what he thought was befitting, right? So... I don't know what was before this, and this is where screenshots do get a little bit misleading because we don't see all of the material that leads into a statement to follow a statement, etc. So you get this little box. You kind of have to make inferences and try to build connotation and context based on certain things. So I will say, I don't know everything that was said in this interaction. So she says, I'm sorry I said that, apologizing. I had a couple beers and I'm just upset, feeling like we can't do surf social things without an uncomfortable situation arising that usually feels like my fault somehow. I feel you pull away and then the feeling of being defective creeps in. I think I'm not socially intelligent enough to meet your needs as a partner and then I get frustrated and angry at myself and just want you to rip the band-aid off if I'm not good enough for you. In moments of conflict, my brain thinks you want to dump me because I'm not good enough for you and you're the GOAT and you can do better and you will immediately once you end things with me. So basically, as you can see in her response to him, she feels like no matter what happens, he's always going to pressure her. She feels like, damn, I can't do nothing right. If I move left, I don't move too far. If I move right, I didn't move enough. If I move this way, he's going to evaluate and overanalyze things and make me feel like the shit ain't right. 
And then she ends up feeling small because he is relatively intelligent. He has a way with words. He has a way of expressing himself and articulating himself. But that doesn't mean that the shit that he's saying is actually right or correct. So it actually ends up making her feel like, damn, I don't even understand what his issues are. Maybe I'm the one that's not adept. So now she starts belittling herself even more to make herself comfortable for this nigga. And she's like, well, shit, if it's too much of a problem, why don't you just rip the Band-Aid off, discard me? You can do better anyway, so why don't you go do that? You know what I'm saying? Because now she's feeling like there's nothing I can do to appease you. And he says, you're right. We can't do surf social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give regard to our relationship. I've been vulnerable as possible. And I'm telling you, I am needing you to step up to the plate, which you can. I am sure of it. But these losers don't get your time if you want me. Straight up. It's a consideration. I respect your love of surfing, but I respect myself as well. And your love of surfing and being in those situations and lack of awareness are not mutually exclusive. This isn't me. I have my own issues that I own. If you want marriage and family, you can't use the 25 card. Step up and cut shit. These people don't get your time or your kindness at the sacrifice of mine. Two years ago in 2021, she was 25. Two years ago in 2021, Jonah Hill was 37. Okay? So he's had all the fun that he could possibly want in his career. He got to be the wild boy. He got to do everything he wanted. You get what I'm saying? He got to enjoy all the fruits of the Hollywood lifestyle, whatever came with that. He got to be friends with who he wanted to. I'm sure he met numerous women, those that he may have had relationships with, slept with, whatever the fuck he wanted to do. He had that time because at 25, he was enjoying the fruits of his labor, coming off of Super Bad, coming off of Pineapple Express, and all these big fucking movies and cult classics that he created. But now that he done lost some weight, now that he's going to therapy, he's starting to feel better about himself. He doesn't want people comparing him to his fat self no more. He gets to have all this autonomy and talk about respect and boundaries. But nigga, what about the time you had before that? What about the time it took for you to grow into that? You don't think at 25 she needs time to determine who she is, what she likes, where she wants to be? You don't think she has a career to build, motherfucker, like you did? This is the shit that's fucking the game up. And it's super funny to me, yo, because like, as a man, I definitely understand you get older, you may not be interested in women your age because the young ones, they always look good, they always fit, they can eat whatever they want, and it doesn't show up in their body. You want these picturesque women. Like I said in my other video, you want these women that you feel, that you look in the mirror and say, damn, how did I get her? You really shouldn't have her because you can't even keep up. You 37, 38, you 39 now. She's 25, she's going through a whole different maturity phase in life that everybody has to go through and you're trying to expedite her process so that she could get on your time. And you ain't even mature because you're not even secure with her doing the same shit that she was doing when you met her. Shit don't make no sense to me. You could have went with somebody more age appropriate. It's always that thing. When you're the older person and you've been through everything or you feel like you've been through everything, you're always going to tell somebody younger than you, oh, you ain't missing nothing. I've been through it and it ain't even worth it. Well, motherfucker, you had the opportunity to find out. Stop trying to control and manipulate somebody to fit into your little box, your comfortable little box, because you went out and experienced everything that you had the opportunity to. And then you want to rob that person of theirs because... You want them in your life at this time. That's not how shit work. Get with somebody who's been through the same shit you went and came to the same realization. I don't want to be out in the streets. I don't want to be out here being seen. I don't care if I got a bunch of friends or not. I'm okay staying at the crib. I'm okay going out to dinner here and there, but I don't really want to be on the scene like that. Get you somebody that's on that same wavelength. A 25-year-old that's out there doing what they want to do and you meet them, y'all hanging out just for the thrill or just because she's interested in you at that moment, she may say, yeah, I really don't care. But deep down inside, yeah, six to eight months go by. She start itching, wanting to get back out there. That's what's going to happen. And you old motherfuckers need to understand you can't just change somebody. You can't just rip them out of their comfort zone because of what you comfortable with. Now, when it comes to some of the friendships that she may have had, I'm sure she was probably trying not to make things uncomfortable. As a woman in surf culture, I'm sure a lot of the guys were probably flirting with her, hitting on her, wanting to take her out. You know, I'm sure they probably were telling jokes and stuff. And maybe some of the guys were crossing the line. Y'all do understand that women get approached no matter what the fuck they doing. 
whether she was going to be surfing, whether she was working at the desk, giving niggas they fucking surf boards. If she was out here selling motherfucking sunglasses, if she worked at CVS, if she was at the motherfucking red carpet for BET, it does not matter. Women are going to get flirted with niggas going to want their attention. It just is what it is. It comes with the territory. If you have a woman and she's okay with you and she likes you, loves you, and you're secure within your relationship, you don't got to worry about these things. And if she's not actually going out with these guys, if she's not going out getting drinks or you know trying to do the extracurricular activities that they're inviting her to, then what is your issue? It can't just be the fact that she's in an environment that breeds niggas wanting to flirt with her because there is no environment in which a woman would not be flirted with. You could go to church. Right now, she could be 100% fully covered with the motherfucking funeral hat on and everything, and some guy in there is going to try his hand. It just is what it is. Quit acting like you don't know reality. Then he going to try to flip the script. Well, if you want marriage and family, then you can't use the 25 shit as an excuse. Yes, the fuck she can, because at 25, marriage and family looks totally different. If she was to have a child at 25 and get married to a man at her age, they're going to be evolving together and they're going to figure out the ways in order to be responsible and still do the things that they want to do. Yo old ass is just over. We ain't riding with that. And I hate that I got to go in on you like this, bro. Cause honestly, I'm a fan of your work. I know you're involved with hip hop. I like the movie that you put out with the skateboard shit, man. Like I respect your work. I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm just saying you should have made better decisions. You should have handled this situation differently. You cannot force her to be your shadow. At the end of the day, she is always going to be in the water. She's always going to have a bathing suit on. I don't know what you expect her to put on, bro. You want her to put on a motherfucking nightgown and go surfing? Then if her nightgown ever flares up in the wind and in the water, you're going to have a problem with that too? Why did you get with her? If you were so if you were so against surfing, which you say you support it, but everything that it actually takes for her to go surf, for her to be comfortable in that environment, it makes you uncomfortable. In all these different roundabout statements, you're telling her to quit surfing. You're basically saying, I have the resources for you to not have to surf ever again in life. Why do you care about that shit? Why do you care about going and winning a contest? Why do you care about going and teaching these motherfuckers how to surf? Do something else. You're with Jonah fucking Hill. That's basically all you're saying. You're not saying that in, in these words. You're taking the scenic route, making it seem like everything she does is wrong. Y'all only arguments seem to be about when she's surfing or when she's posting pictures of her doing it. This shit sounds ignorant to me. It sounds too simple to even be evaluated. It's real disappointing, bro. I'm I'm be honest. It's very disappointing. And then you're basically positioning it like, well, if you continue to do these things, it's showcasing that you're not respecting me. You know how many people in the real world have real shit to deal with with their partner? You know how many men in this world have real ass niggas that they really got to worry about? That's like, damn, that's her ex. The nigga be creeping up, texting her, all type of shit like that. How would you deal with that? A real threat to your relationship. And then he's like, well, if you just want to post pictures in bathing suits and shit, just go be a model. But that would be the last type of person I want to ever be in a relationship with. So I would never tolerate that. So he just keeps on piling it on steaming hot loads of bullshit just to make her feel small. And basically in every roundabout way possible, say you need to give up surfing. If you're going to be with me, then doing that no longer serves you. I like that you love surfing, but you got to put an end to that shit. That's all he's saying. You have to sit in this L, bro. And yeah, it was two years ago. It's not current. You may have grown. You may have evolved. You may be somebody different today, but this is what's been put out on you, bro. You was dead ass wrong. You should have handled that differently. There's no way around it. I'm sure there's some niggas out there that's going to disagree with me. I always seem to get niggas that disagree with me. Y'all seem to think that I'm always in favor of the women. I'm in favor of what's right and wrong. If a motherfucker's wrong, they wrong. And you got to understand that just because you're a man, just because you got nuts, it don't mean any time that you feel slighted, you're actually correct in your feelings. Just like a woman, anytime she feels slighted, it does not mean that she's correcting her feelings because she's a woman. You got to evaluate things on a case by case basis. We got to be able to take accountability for when we're right, when we're wrong, and when we have let our emotions overtake our distinction between the two. So when I call niggas out, I just want y'all to understand it's not about the person. It's about the situation. 
Y'all not gonna listen to me no way, so it's all good. But let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace!